This is a coffee machine video. drink coffee maker, the Breville Grind Control Coffee Machine. I've been saving up for a really long time to get this machine, so now I'm really excited to unbox it for you guys today. Let's go ahead and open her up. Okay. Gosh, it's huge. So I figured out how to open it. Right here there's a button that says open. What? Who would have thunk? So now I need to go buy some fresh beans for my fresh machine. So I went ahead and got some coffee beans from my favorite coffee roasters. I already put them inside of here. There's the beans inside. So in this machine, you don't have to use the entire pot. You see there's a setting for a cup versus caraf carafe. I don't know how you say that word. <laughs> cup versus pot. We're going to go with that. So I'm going to set it to three just to see how it tastes. I've already filled the water tank. And then I'm going to press start. <laughs> It's really good. I definitely like it at level 3. That's really good. I bet I could go up to level 4. I could see people who are like, I like my coffee like black sludge. Those kind of people, they have something for themselves in a machine like this because it can go up to level 8. But for people like me, level 3 is really good. 
and it doesn't taste like plastic like the Keurig does. The Keurig is convenient, but it just tastes bad. I hate to say it, but I think they're gross. So, Breville Grind Control Coffee Maker. I give you a 10 out of 10. I'd recommend this product. Although it's a steep price, retailing for $299.99. How much do you spend on coffee a year if you buy a cup of coffee every single day? If you don't care how your coffee tastes, I say don't spend $300 on the coffee machine. Go get $20 one at Walmart or wherever you go. But if you do care how your coffee tastes, I think that this machine, you can't beat it for the convenience and for the flavor. So take that information how you will and happy shopping.